We're going to go meet Inbal, my psychic, who I met right at the very, very start of my adventure. And I'm going to have a chat with her today to see if any of her earlier predictions have come true. I've got all my notes with me, so I'll be able to kind of uh, cross-reference with her. This should be really interesting. Well, what I thought we'd do is have a look back, because I actually made notes from our meeting. It's the only time I've had throughout the whole project to make notes, so let's really enjoy <laughs> them together, shall we? Show me how it is. Yeah. You said, I've got a lot of fire in me. There's not mm -hmm. much of me holding back. I don't have much baggage, but you felt at that time I was still holding on to my work mood and to release myself into the project. Mm. Uh, that hasn't happened, has it? You yeah, know, it has happened. Oh, I, I'm completely obsessed now. I have no other life apart from dating. I'm on planet dating, didn't you know? Mm, so a scary yeah. planet to live yeah. on. Uh, let me see, what else do we say here? Yeah, you, you gave me a morning affirmation, which I had to say, I'm a winner in love. Yeah, I've been I saying, yeah. am a winner in love. Excellent, that you are. And what else did you say? Week nine, you say to me that I was going to lay down my weapons, and my weapons were my barbed comments and my sort of craziness. Well, you know, you've waited all these years. <laughs> Thanks, Val, for your support well, and encouragement. What it is, is that up until now, it is a project. Mm. Next week, they will become human. Next week, they are actually people that you're choosing between. All oh, right. Let's start a new page and go through the guys that you like now and see who's got long-term potential with Why, you. Why, do you have to give names and all that kind of stuff? You can do initials, you don't have to give names. With your left hand, take a card for the first one you've written. Oh my god, right. Because <laughs> I've mixed them up a bit as well. My... Okay, what's this? this is... Between you and me, this card is for Adam. Well, the last time I saw you, it was such a lovely day, wasn't it? I was a bit dreamy for a few days. I was a bit sort of I'd stare into space for a bit. He adores you. He thinks you're lovely. Yeah. He would like to sort of do the whole baby thing with you. He thinks you're very, very caring. He's managed to see past the barbed comments. Right. So that's very important. We've got good potential there, but there might be just too much of the goddess worship there in the sense that there might not be room for you to be a bit barbed when you want to in that relationship because he'll just be all oh. and he's too dewy eyed and not what well, yeah. yeah yeah that was a good way of saying it okay so i have to now reveal who that person is do i you don't have to reveal anything though that was, it was very interesting that was my adam card oh, that's interesting mm. right so next one. Oh my god <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous, right. Oh my God, is that good? Okay, now it's animal attraction, Paul. He's bright, he's articulate, he's gorgeous looking, he's a lovely little jumper on, and I just want to get in there and see what happens. Um, well, it's passion, and with him there could be lots of new beginnings, but I'm afraid he's a good one for starting things with, not for carrying on things with. Live fast, die young, um, burnout. Burnout? Burnout. A lot of fire, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, and then you yeah. think, oh, I'm going. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah. So, so that's not, you're basically saying that's not got any longevity whatsoever? The short answer is no. <laughs> right, fine. Well, that's, that was my trump card, hopefully. I mean, that was Paul. So he's just like, obviously, here to dig on tomorrow. Guy number okay. three. Okay, guy number two. It's like, um, you know, choosing them on blind date, isn't it? Okay. It's just better. Ugh. Oh no, Gary's Irish charm does not seem to cut it with Imbal at all. I think Sally's a lovely girl. She's really, really lovely. Very strong, and uh, she needs a good, strong man. Um, <clears throat> right, here we've got two people that really interfere in each other's lives. He'll want to change you. You know how Adam doesn't want to change you because you're... Perfect. Mm. Guy number three will will want to change you. That was my Gary card. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the reaction of me. Last card. The last one. It was like guessing the game. Pregnancy. <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's because my friends, everybody, there's children around. Um, oh god. Um, what well, pregnancy with this person? Well, he's, Are very you he's very fertile. Oh, so the trump card belonged to Kevin, according to Inbal. I love children and I'd really like kids. Really? And I don't want to be a really old Dan because I want to be, a, be able to go out and not look really silly. No, that would be really embarrassing. Even though I would the, anyway, but... The rugby pitch and the football, you know. Have a look what you've got between the two of you. 
Your roots are very similar. You believe in the same things. And this is somebody that can be a nice friend to you when you no longer possess your youthful good looks. It's a nice friend. He's a great person. He'd make a really good dad, and he knows what he believes in. That was Kevin, the Scottish artist. Same background? Scottish. Same roots. Good fun, good friend. Nice guy. There is great potential there. That he could be the father of your children. You know what? I'm going to have to make it a tight competition between Adam and Kevin. What for? What to go out with? Yes. Oh, come on. What about the bloody passion card, lady? The passion card was Paul. Even though lines of communication weren't exactly open at this stage, I still harboured hopes. What happened with that? Three weeks. Oh, shocker. How long have you known him? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks. I've known him for, uh, to say hello to, but I've never actually kind of... What, three weeks burnout? Three weeks burnout. <laughs> and we have one very sad Sally on our hands. That's all right, it's fine, that's all fine. Well, you've catapulted him right out of the picture. No, I've catapulted Gary right out of the picture. I'd, yeah, you know, I'd keep Paul because, you know, <laughs> exercise is good. <laughs> It'll be good um, for your heart rate and, you know, everything. So my money's on Kevin at the moment, but keep dating.